Hi, I'm Charlton Heston. You've seen me in such epic movies such as The Ten Commandments, Major Dundee, and The Omega Man, which Will Smith did the I Am Legend thing, which was a total ripoff of my movie. Hey, I'm just here to introduce you to Mr. Canoe for today's lab. Take it away. Hey, thanks, Charleston. I am a fan of yours. Peace, man. Peace. All right, guys. For this lab, you guys might remember, we've been talking about the shape of molecules, molecular geometry. We know that molecules have length, they have width, and they have depth. So there is a 3D part of them. And today, you guys are going to have a chance to work with a molecular kit. This is what the molecular kit looks like. Comes in a box like this. When you open it up, you'd say, oh wow, look at all these pieces. Um, what are we supposed to do with this? You're building molecules, different kinds. What they are, that's gonna be the surprise because I can't guarantee you what molecules that we're going to build up, but you're building them. All right. But what do the pieces look like? Well, you got some of these here, and here they got these little spikes coming out of them. All right, again, don't swallow it. This is not a Tide Pod challenge. Okay, you also have some pieces that look like this, again, in different colors, and you got these plastic tubes, which these are not meant to be used as straws. Okay, what's going to happen with those, the different colors represent the different types of elements that are out there. Now, there is the handy dandy little guide here, but I'm going to make this a little bit easier uh, for you guys. So, for example, red is nitrogen, okay, black is carbon, blue, well, that is good old oxygen, that's a traditional one, yellow is sulfur, which is the real life color of it, green here is in fact chlorine, and there's only one attachment because it's like a one electron uh, deal for that, and then these white ones here, those are hydrogens. These are forming the bonds. We can have single bonds, we can have double bonds, and we can have triple bonds with these. But wait, how do I actually put this together? I'm going to show you. He's going to tell, he's going to tell, he's going to tell, he's going to tell. So, let's look at this here for a moment. Um, I gotta get my camera set up. Remember, I am a one-man production team with this, and boom. All right, let's see if we can get this down right here. This is what happens when you are a one-man production team. You get all the credit for all the production stuff that's involved. Okay, close enough. Let's, let's do it. Okay, so down here we have some pieces and I'm going to show you guys what is, a, what is it going to look like for us. So, let's go ahead and let's work with a single bond. Now you guys might remember a single bond as there are two electrons between the two atoms. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the simplest one. I have here two hydrogen atoms and I have here the plastic straw, which is going to be used to form the bond. So, how do you do it? So, with this, we're going to take and we're going to attach it like this. And then we're going to attach it like this. And voila! There's your single bond between your two hydrogen atoms. Woo! Okay. Well, now that, that sounds really impressive. So what else do you, can you do with it? Well, you guys are going to be making different molecules. And I'll give you a list of molecules that you're going to make. So I'm going to make water. All right. So oxygen is the color blue. There's our blue one right here, folks. All right. Let's go back and see if I can get that to. No, not telephoto. Well, yeah, let's go telephoto. We're going to go telephoto this way. And I'm going to bring the paper up. Okay, so let's sweep that over. And here is my oxygen. I have two hydrogens here. And you'd say, wait, couldn't you use the green ones instead? No, because what we're doing, we're making water. 
So it doesn't matter which way that you uh, put the bonds in. So I got one bond here, one bond here, and then I'm going to do a hydrogen here and a hydrogen here. Okay, so this, ladies and gentlemen, is in fact water. And it does have a three-dimensional feel to it, okay? Because it's actually taking up space and it looks like the Mickey Mouse molecule. Now, you'd say, but what about these two things here, these spikes? Think about those with the, uh, those electron pairs that are not hooked up to anything, the unshared pair of electrons. That's where they're hooked up. So, okay. Yay, we did a water molecule. Okay, how about we got to do something like a double bond? Okay, so I'm going to go grab another carbon atom. Okay, and this time we're going to have two plastic straws as the bond. Okay, so again, it doesn't matter which spike that you put on or which peg. Okay, you're going to put it in like this. You'll put it in like this, and you say, wow, that's, that's not looking like a double bond. You're right, it does it. Right now, it looks like somebody doing jumping jacks or something. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. So what's going to happen, we're going to take the second carbon atom. We'll put one like this, one like this. Oh, come on. You guys are going to be nice and cooperative. All right, let's zero in a little bit. And there's your double atom. There's your double bond right there. And compare that to the single bond that we did with the water a little earlier, okay? Let's pull back a little bit. And you can see the single bond here, okay, and the double bond there. And some of you may notice immediately, like, hey, the uh, double bond there is a bit shorter than the single bond. You're right. In fact, that matches what happens in real life because they have actually measured the lengths of bonds, and double bonds are definitely shorter than single bonds. No question about it, okay? So this, ladies and gentlemen, um, that's it. That's how you put together single bonded atoms and double bonded atoms. I'm not going to do triple bond with you guys on this. Uh, this kit, I do not believe that it can do triple bonds, but we can do single and double bonds and that's going to cover quite a few things. Okay, this is it. Um, you guys are going to get a selection of molecules to work on and I'll ask you some questions about that and that's it for the lab. All right, take care and God bless.